Hello and welcome to the lesson. The subject is business and data analytics. Today we are going to study the various types of data analytics. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain at least uh, three types of data analytics. Types of data analytics. Types of data analytics. Data analytics learners is a broad field and there are four main types of uh, data analytics. There are four main types of data analytics. Number one is um, known as descriptive analytics. Number two, diagnostic analytics. Three, predictive analytics. Four, prescriptive analytics. Four types. Descriptive analytics. Diagnostic analytics, predictive analytics, and prescriptive analytics. Now, each type here has a different goal and a different place in the data analytics process. Descriptive analytics is the first one. Descriptive analytics helps answer questions about what happened. Answer questions about what happened. What happened. And the techniques here summarize large data sets to describe outcomes to, sh uh, to the stakeholders. And by developing the, the key performance indicators, all right, the strategies can help track successes or failures. And we may also have specialized metrics that are help to track um, uh, the successes or the failures in an industry. We could have metrics such as return on investment, which are uh, return on investment, which is used in many industries, and uh, uh, so on. So the processes, the process here requires um, uh, the collection of relevant data here. It requires the collection of the relevant data, the processing of the data, data analysis, as well as data visual, visualization. And the process here provides essential insight into the past performance because Data analytics answers the question, what happened? It looks into the past, the history, what happened in the past? What is the past performance? And so on. So descriptive analytics looks into the history, into the past, what happened? The second type of data analytics is diagnostic analytics. And here, diagnostic analytics helps answer the questions about why things happened. Why things happened. This is what happened. Diagnostic answers the question why things happened. 
And the techniques here supplement more basic descriptive analytics. They take the findings from the, the descriptive analysis and digs deeper into the, uh, the course of uh, what happened. And the, the performance indicators are further uh, investigated to discover why they got better, why things got better, why things got worse, and so on. And there are various steps in the diagnostic analytics. The first step being the identification of anomalies in the data. And the anomalies may be the unexpected changes in a metric or a particular market. The second step in the diagnostic analytics is um, the, the collection of relevant data. Collection of relevant or related data. This is data that is related to the, anom uh, the anomalies. Okay? So first of all, I've said the first step in the diagnostic analytics is to identify anomalies in the data. Then number two, data that is related to the anomalies is collected. Identify anomalies in the data, then collect data related to the anomalies in the data. Then after that, statistical techniques are used to find relationships, to find trends that explain the anomalies. That is diagnostic analytics. I repeat, identify anomalies, step number one. Step number two, collect related data related to the anomalies. Then number three, Use statistical techniques to find relationships, to find trends that explain the anomalies or the cause of the anomalies. Let me put that down. One, identify anomalies in the data. Two, collect data related to anomalies three use techniques to do what to identify the or to 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 to, to find relationships to find trends that explain the anomalies. Use um, mathematical or statistical techniques to find relationships and trends in the anomalies. The third type of uh, data analytics is predictive analytics. Predictive analytics, on the other hand, helps answer the question, what will happen in the future? Predictive analytics helps answer the question, what will happen in the future? And the techniques, um, uh, the, this, the techniques here use historical data to identify trends, then determine if they are likely to recur. The predictive analytical tools provide valuable insight into what may happen in the future. And its techniques include variety of statistical as well as the machine learning techniques, such as the neural uh, networks, the decision trees, the regression, and so on. So based on 
historical data, the predictive analytical tools can help the firm answer the question, what will happen in the future, by looking at trends in the historical data, the past performance, predictive analytics from the word predict. These tools may help a company to answer the question, what will happen in the future? Tools such as regression, machine learning, and so on. Do you understand? Yeah, that is pretty uh, clear. Predictive analytics. Then uh, the last type of uh, data analytics is prescriptive analytics. Prescriptive analytics helps answer the questions about what should be done. What should be done? What should be done? Prescriptive analysis. Prescriptive analysis helps answer the questions about what should be done, what should be done. And by using insights from the predictive analytics, data-driven decisions can be made. Data-driven decisions can be made based on predictive analytics. Data-driven decisions can be made. And that allows businesses to make informed decisions in face of uncertainty. And candidates, prescriptive analytics uh, techniques rely on machine learning strategies that, uh, f uh, that uh, can find patterns in large data sets. Patterns in large data sets. And by analyzing past decisions, by analyzing past events, the likelihood of uh, different out outcomes can be estimated. All right? Prescriptive analytics help answer the question, what should be done? This type of data analytics provide insights about um, uh, uh, insights that businesses need to make effective and efficient decisions. They provide insight that businesses need to make effective and efficient decisions. So these are four types of data analytics. We've said data analytics is a broad field. We've briefly described four types of data analytics. The first one being descriptive analytics, which you've said answers the question, what happened? Diagnostic analytics answers the question, why things happened? Number three, pre predictive analytics answers the question, what will happen in the future? And lastly, prescriptive analytics helps answer the question, what should be done about um, uh, uh, what should be done um, uh, by, by using insights from uh, pr uh, predictive analytics, you've said also that uh, data-driven decisions can be made, data-driven decisions, because the decisions are based on uh, past data, on past big data. So these are four types of data analytics. Descriptive analytics, diagnostic analytics, Predictive analytics, prescriptive analytics. Here is your today's assignment. Explain four types of data analytics 
and when doing the assignment make sure you are not you don't make reference to notes you don't make reference to videos try and see if you can recall what you have learned from your memory thank you bye bye